hello hello dr karan how are you i'm good sir how are you i'm fine and uh, i bring in all the greetings and wishes on behalf of all the faculty members of speed and speed team thank you sir to you and uh, for scoring a fantastic and a great thank rank of rank number 10 in common merit list and rank number 7 in aims merit list for dm cardiology in ess 2021 session i think it's a great accomplishment and uh, it's a fantastic rank and also to get on to your specialty of your choice now uh, can we know the background of a medical career so far dr karan has done this medicine from uh, yes sir. I, i did my mbbs from uh, st jesus medical college km hospital and uh, i did my md from molana azad namsi wait why dm cardiology i wanted to do something interventional sir and uh, have um, a larger impact on people so i thought that since it is a universal branch and uh, it has interventions as well that's why i chose it and i was interested in it from the beginning as well like from uh, my final year ug days so D- did you have a double mind of becoming a surgeon and a physician i did sir <laughs> i joined uh, jipmer surgery for a month but then i left it i thought the learning curve was very long and for some reason i i chose in medicine and i came to mamsi and now i'll probably be going back to jipmer uh, for cardiology yeah because i have seen those people who want to do cardiology interventional cardiology and those who want to do interventional gastroenterology they would have had a percentage of surgeon in them and they yes, want sir. to have their hands on heart non direction mind in non direction the reason why i asked that question to you and uh, and we want to know from you uh, when you started your preparation on uh, cardiology and we have been doing i mean how many hours per day or been dedicated full time for some time or I mean what is the way you did and and be able to make this rank for yourself yes sir so uh, my md was completed in july uh, my, i gave my exam in july so even before that the exam our md exam kept getting pushed since uh, feb and march so around feb march i had some time sir i must have given one month uh, specially for cardio uh, because i knew that i wanted to do dm after this so i must have i i gave around march month for cardio so even in aims uh, april i got rank 17 after the interview so i continued my cardio preparation after the uh, result of my md exams uh, since august end around i started uh, reading cardio again and i must have given it some 8 to 12 hours per day at least wow <laughs> how many months was that from july eh? uh, august august around 4 months so what will you do in 8 to 12 hours i mean how do you you read uh, brown wald or I mean how how you yes i it is for me it is important to keep different sources actually because i can't keep reading one book i can't keep reading just one this thing so number one was brown world was there uh, reading the book and reading the most important topics that come from brown world but a lot of my reading was from speed lectures and uh, not just lectures from the speed books as well so later on when i had less time but i had to cover those topics i found that speed books were really helpful because um, they were spot on they gave mcqs directly they gave very high yield uh, information so i found that very useful so these two and uh, speed uh, mcqs and tests i used to practice when i was bored of just studying at that time we are you able to finish all the brown wall series of session 1 session 2 session 3 no sir i i did not have that much time actually so what i did was uh, brown wall session 1 i finished uh, as much as i could almost 60 70% of the lectures and um, the rest of it for almost the rest of it i uh, did it from the books from the speed uh, books uh, whichever were available um i did that and even in april uh, uh, i had uh, watched some speed videos uh, i didn't have much time back then but i had uh, was the uh, anti arrhythmics and uh, um, specific arrhythmias video so that was very helpful even that like even in that one lecture i had covered a lot of uh, ina exam questions in april so were you on regular live classes or only recorded classes recorded classes sir i uh, had done only those ones now what will be your advice to your juniors or message those who are aspiring for dm cardiology how should they proceed how should they approach uh, yes sir. number one is when if uh, 
people are just deciding once they've decided that they want to do cardiology for sure number one what they should do is look at the past papers and look at what the important topics are because there are some specific topics like some 10 15 chapters from brown world that are very important that it is better that they do from brown world and solve a test series from say speed and uh, and read the book from speed because there are some points that um, uh, are covered in the mcqs from speed that are not in brown world apart from that there are many chapters in brown world but they can't be covered completely if for example in my case when i didn't have as much time as uh, because i had only 4 months after the uh, after my exam after my md exam so since i had only 4 months i did it from uh, the speed books so you have to cover the whole of cardiology but you need to choose your sources right to so brown world book the important chapters so that you can revise them later but the rest of brown world the rest a lot of chapters and some few important chapters like anti arrhythmics and very specific arrhythmias uh, sudden cardiac death like chapters these you should do from uh, speed as well and uh, you should get speed either you get notes or you uh, from the book should try to get notes so that you can read it later uh, and it becomes easy to revise because revision is important as well so you need to revise you need to in the last 10 days you need to revise as much as you read all of what you read how was your general medicine preparation because suddenly they said in specialty you will also have general medicine what did you do with that medicine was general medicine was not i didn't study specifically for it Uh, it wasn't great because i didn't have time to even uh, there, there are a lot of uh, harrison high yield topics that i was start i started preparing from harrison high yield uh, speed topics but uh, the result came so i stopped now but i think uh, since my md was just done i had that advantage of uh, having it up to date now how many questions did you attempt i attempted 78 out of 80 almost close to 80 yes so good and uh, now what is the next plan i'll be taking cardiology now sir i won't get aims i think my aims rank is 7 i think top 5 are going for aims delhi i think on internal counseling is already over i believe so you will be uh, getting on the board next option thinking of pgi and jipmer uh, any of the two that i get both are good institutes have i've talked to people who are working there right now both are good obviously it has to be <laughs> great so on second i bring in all the wishes to you and uh, for achieving and inspiring us and inspiring your family and people around you and keep going and as a great career in dm cardiology and dr karan will make a wonderful impact in the specialty and also yes. to the people he is going to come across and yes, through his services in cardiology thank you so much and uh, above all i wish you very happy new year upcoming in two days time Yes, uh, and 2022. <laughs> Let this be year be a great year for you and your family as well. And uh, wish you a wonderful new year and best wishes to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.